Hi, my name is Angela Koenigsbauer. I am a realtor with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, Colorado Real Estate. I am also a member of Divorce Advice Colorado. We are a group of professionals who have banded together to assist clients who are going through, either thinking about going through divorce or are actually going through a divorce to help just help people gather the, the information that they need to make a good decision, you know, about the various, uh, just different decisions that people have to make throughout the process. I have a designation in working with divorcing clients in real estate. The designation is Real Estate Collaboration Specialist Divorce. And the purpose of the designation is really like it, just like it says, is to work collaboratively with my clients, as well as, you know, anybody else that's involved in that process, be it a divorce attorney or a mediator, and helping the clients come up with the best solutions to um, what to do with their marital property. The reason why I got into this and the reason why I went and got that designation is because I just witnessed so many people, um, you know, making really very emotional decisions about the marital property and not looking at it from as much of a business perspective. And it is important because of it being most people's largest asset to really just kind of take a step back and try to take the emotion out of the process. You know, I think people tend to feel like they're kind of winning if they, they win the house, they've won that asset. But in reality, you know, more than likely you're gonna to have to get a new mortgage. Um, so you're, you're basically kind of buying that house for a second time. And after living in a house for a couple years, lots of stuff can happen to houses that we don't really know what's going on. And so it's very important to just kind of go over everything just like it was a house you never lived in before. What I recommend is starting off, first and foremost, whoever does want to stay in the house, I'm assuming that somebody does, um, you know, I'm kind of approaching it from that standpoint that somebody wants to stay in the house. That person needs to talk to a lender right off the bat as soon as possible, as soon as they know that they really want to stay in that house to find out what's it going to take? Can I qualify? So you need to find out from a lender, you know, what's it going to take? Do I, do I have the income or am I going to have the maintenance payments or am I going to have what I need to, to actually get this loan? And then also, you know, right alongside of that, go ahead and get an inspection done on the house, just like you would if you were buying a different house. Find out everything there is to know about it from a, you know, physical standpoint, like what's going on with the roof? What is going on with the furnace? What's going on with the major systems? Because if there's, you know, if work needs to be done in that house, that can really heavily impact your equity in the house. Um, and that can also be information that can help you decide, does it really make sense to stay in this house or is there enough deferred maintenance that maybe we just need to move on and, you know, and start over. Um, another thing that I highly recommend is pulling title work on the property and what that does for you is it tells you exactly any financial encumbrances against the property so you may think yeah we got a mortgage i know all about my mortgage whatever but um there can be other financial like liens that can be put on a property that you may not know about um, a title report is something that i can assist with it's quick it's easy it costs five bucks so there's absolutely no reason not to get that done in addition you're going to need to have either a, a current market analysis done or possibly an appraisal. Um, depending on how contentious, you know, your divorce is going, you may need a, a, an actual appraisal. If your property is pretty straightforward and not a very complicated property, it's very possible that I can do a free market analysis for you that would adequately, you know, give you your value, your current market, market value. And if you're not having a super contentious um, situation that you both agree on that value and you can move forward without spending the money on the appraisal. But either way, you know, that's something that you are going to need to know. How, what's my house worth? Two more things that are important to look at. One is your homeowner's insurance. So you'll have to get a new policy just issued in your own name if you're going to want to take over and, and own that house. And it's also a good idea because of all the stuff that has gone on in Colorado Recently, um, insurers are starting to really raise rates and you need to look at how much is my policy really gonna cost me because as soon as you go to get a quote on, you know, just having that policy in your own name, things could change dramatically in terms of pricing. And so it's something that you really need to research as a, a part of the cost of owning that home. Um, in addition to, you know, your utilities and things. So lenders don't look at how much your utilities cost. How much does it cost to heat your house? But it is something that should be taken into consideration by somebody if they're going to stay in that house on their own. That's an expense that needs to be, you know, really considered. Look at your past year's worth of um, utility bills and, and kind of really take a look at how much is that going to cost on a monthly basis. 
So those are, you know, largely the due diligence items that I highly recommend doing. And those things can really help you take, take a step back from the process. At the end of that, if it makes sense, then fantastic. Then you stay in that house and if that's what you want, fantastic. If, if the numbers don't make sense or if at the end of that you come to realize maybe I need a fresh start, maybe I don't need such a big house, maybe you know we can move close by and still stay in the same school district but not have this you know larger house expense or whatever um, those things are all you know possible and at that point then you may want to kind of shift gears and look at what the market's doing is it you know is it a good time to sell it certainly has been a good time to sell in colorado for the last several years and we still feel like it's a good time to sell because there's not a lot of inventory so you know that can be also part of your due diligence process is to really look at the market and what could we get for the house and what would that look like if I wanted to look at other properties. Um, that's the main you know, message that I wanna deliver and you know, offer my um, availability to just sit down and have coffee and talk in much more detail or actually come and take a look at your property. All of that would be you know, complimentary and, and just basically a resource to you as I am a realtor working in this market, working with buyers, sellers, investors, and and can offer you kind of all of that, you know, expertise in helping you make that decision and, and moving forward in your life. So thank you so much for listening.